you, you first. Okay. You are my, my guest. Uh, thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I had a very positive meeting today with uh, Mr. Van Rompuy, President of the European Council. I thanked uh, President Van Rompuy for the unwavering support that the European Union has constantly provided to the International Criminal Court, and I was very glad to receive assurances of the EU's continued commitment to the ICC. The ICC is a neutral judicial institution, a court of last resort, which has been given a unique role in humanity's efforts to end impunity for atrocious crimes against innocent children, women, and men. To fulfill this function, the ICC depends on, a, on the cooperation and support of the international com community, especially in the enforcement of its ju judicial decisions, including the pending arrests of warrant. During today's meeting, I expressed my appreciation for the constructive role that the European Union played at the review conference of the Rome Statute, which was held in Kampala, Uganda, earlier this year. The key issues of cooperation, complementarity, universe, universality, and the position of the victims were highlighted at the review conference and I was very grateful for the concrete pledges made by the European Union and its member states in Kampala to support the ICC and to develop the effectiveness of the Rome statute system in all these areas. President Van Rompuy and I agreed that turning the promises of Kampala into reality should now be one of the priorities of the continuing partnership between the EU and ICC. Again, let me express uh, my deep gratitude uh, for the unwavering commitment of the European Union to the International Criminal Court. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I had a very fruitful meeting with the president of the International Criminal Court, Judge Song, and I reassured him of the full support of the European Union to the work of the International Criminal Court and its full independence. This support to the ICC has become one of the symbolic anchors of the European Union's external policies fully in line with our defining values. We discussed the positive results of the ICC review conference held in Kampala. It was clear, a clear sign for the continuing commitment of the state parties. I would like to recall that the EU pledges made at the conference accounted for half of the pledges overall, and you are so kind to remind me of this. This is yet another expression of the unwavering commitment of the Union. The European Union has always been a staunch supporter of the fight against impunity of those who have committed serious crimes. The most serious crimes of concern to the international community must not go unpunished and their prosecution must be ensured by the members of the international community. The mere existence of the court is already a powerful deterrent. I reconfirmed to Judge Song our conviction that all parties to the Rome Statute should fully respect their obligations. These obligations are part of international law. They cannot and must not be overruled by political statements, action or inaction that are incompatible with their undertakings. The European Union will continue to pay close attention to the implementation of these commitments in its external relations 
with other partners. I'm encouraged by the outreach ICC 